Hello, it's Raina with Lilo Crafts and I am coming on today with a process video on how to alter a book. So I had a couple questions on what do you do? How many pages do you take out? So this is part one and I am doing this book this time with my sweet friend, Dale from Not Too Shabby Chic. So please go and check out her channel too. What we did was we got together, we got the same book, we tore out pages together, and now we're going to go ahead and decorate. But this is day one. This is step one about what do you do with your book. Okay, so we are using this book, Shepherd's Abiding, but you can use any book that you would like. And I have this pile here so you can see how many pages we I really tore out of this book. So it is not very thick at all. Now, I am going to tell you the amount of pages I tore out based on the fact that I'm going to be using cardstock. Okay, so cardstock is thicker and makes your book puff up a little bit more. And I am not using a digital. Okay, if you're using a digital, you might wanna take out less pages, but if you're like me and you have a big cardstock stash, then you would want to take out a few more pages to avoid alligator mouth. Okay, so what I left was the first pages, because when you, if you were to tear out the first pages, you would affect the integrity of the binding. Okay, so four, five, okay, it looks like six, seven. Okay, I kept the first seven pages. So then I turned over one page and then I tore out 11 pages. Yes, 11 pages. I did uh, seven the first time, I did 10 the second time, and it was still, I had alligator mouth. So this time I tore out 11. So then I glued page number one and page number 11 together. Okay, then I took one more page, flipped that over, and then because this is going to be a pocket, I tore out four pages. Okay, so four pages. So I folded this in half, and this is going to be a pocket, and I took out four, and then I am going to glue it to this. The reason why I don't glue mine in the beginning is because I'm going to cover this with paper and I want the paper to be able to stick in behind here without actually interfering here. So, so that was four pages. Then I did one more page. I flipped that over and then I tore out 11 pages and I glued those two pages together. And when you do that, you hide all the tear out lines, all this little, these edges that are not perfectly straight. Now I tried this with something an X-Acto knife and it did not work. I cut through too many pages. So I am going back to the tearing method. So I did the same thing again, one page, tore out 11 pages and then glued the next page to it. So what I did was kind of a pocket and then I did two straight ones and then I folded that over and I did, tore out four pages and I made another pocket. And this time I've got the pocket going to the left instead of to the right. And I did that just because I wanted to even out the spacing and also to create some additional interest in the book. Okay, so then I did one, tear out 11, glue it together. And then again, one, tear out 11, glue them together. And then I did one, it looks like I did that again. One, tear out 11 and glue it together. So I messed up my formula here, but that's okay. It, there is no right or wrong for what you're doing over here. So then I went back to making a pocket. So I did one, tear out 11, glue it together for the back page. And then I decided that I was going to do a double pocket. Okay, so I have this page, which is one. Then I folded this page a little bit less. I did not tear out any pages in between. And then I tore out four pages, and now I have the back page. Okay, 
And that is my pocket, my double pocket over here. Then I did one page, tear out 11 and glue it together. Now, when you get towards the end, you want to make sure that you've got enough pages in here. So you would flip to the back and start over. So over here, because again, just like the front, you don't want to tear out the integrity of the binding. So I've got this page. I did not touch this one. I did not touch this one. I did not touch. And this, these two, I did not tear any pages out in between these. And I'm going to make that a pocket going to the left. Okay, again, I did not tear any of these pages out, which puts me to this last one here where I think I did four pages in between and then I glued them together. So that is it. Basically, the whole formula is don't tear out too many in the beginning, leave some at the end, and then if you are going to glue two pages together and you are using scrapbook paper, you you flip over one page, you tear out 11, and then you glue the next page, which is page 12 to page one. You glue those two together. And then if you wanna do a pocket, you're going to fold wherever you want your pocket to be, tear out four pages and glue that together. And you can do that in any way that you would like. Okay, now don't get rid of the stack of book pages that we have. I want you to go ahead and keep those because we'll be using some of them to make tags and things that can go inside journaling cards inside of our journal. So that is all there is to it. I hope that you will join Dale and I and maybe alter a book, any kind of book with us. So we are going to be posting videos every Wednesday and Dale is more creative than I. So she's gonna be thinking up a hashtag so that if you wanna join us, you can use that hashtag, tag us in the video so we can see what you are doing as we go ahead and create these altered books together. So thank you so much for spending time with me today and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.